So in your presentation you discuss uh, profiles of various pellets um, and coating formulations, finding that a mixture of pellets of different release kinetics actually gives the best fit to the ideal. So could you elaborate on this please and further explain why a mixture of pellets is perhaps an easier route than co-processing different polymer dispersions? Mm -hmm. If you consider one formulation and um, yeah, the required drug release pattern, you need to find a formulation which exactly meets your requirements. So this is where you spend a lot of time in formulation development to precisely match what you need to have. On the other hand, if you use different pellet systems, for instance, um, you do not exactly need to have one formulation matching your profile, you could have several. And this is not about um, yeah, a precise formulation development. You could just do a screening of um, different formulations. And um, yeah, the example we discussed during the presentation actually shows um, various formulations which were just deriving from a screening and put together via a mathematical model. So you just see the dissolution pattern and you can calculate the ratio of mixtures of different pellets. And this mixture eventually meets exactly the dissolution pattern um, you, you require. Alternatively, you take the pellets we've just seen here. None of the pellets is close to zero order kinetic, but if you do a combination of these pellets, you're almost there. And this is a quite neat approach for various reasons. So first of all, it is much easier to yeah, roughly get close to zero order kinetic and then mathematically combine different dissolution patterns to zero order kinetic and it works perfectly well as we can see here. But secondly, there's also a benefit in regard to the reliability of the drug release pattern. So let's consider you do have a, a product in the market which contains five different batches of sustained release coated pellets. If there's a variation in the manufacturing of just one batch, it has a minor impact on the drug release pattern here. If you have just one formulation, and there is a variation in production, this will have a distinct impact on the dissolution pattern. And this is something you can keep in mind also in regard to QBD considerations. So this approach definitely provides less challenges in the justification of a formulation or the combination. And you could even have, uh, yeah, let's say, four or five tablet formulations and you can adjust with these pellets different dissolution patterns. And this is what is done actually in the market. So you see some products in the market following this formulation approach. And this is really quite convenient and much quicker um, compared to the regular formulation work if you like to match a dissolution pattern with one precisely developed coating formulation. So a mixture of different batches of different components is always a more suitable and reliable approach in um, yeah, developing or producing a drug product. Mm -hmm.